Now, a Gambian author and cultural advocate, Suleiman Trame, has made a significant contribution to preserving the Wolof language with the release of his book, Do Wolof Language Essential, a beginner guide, volume one. This comprehensive guide aims to make the Wolof language accessible to beginners while also celebrating the rich cultural heritage embedded in the language by Cole Hasmo. Suleiman Drame, deeply connected to his Gambian roots, recognized the importance of documenting the Wolof language, particularly for those eager to learn about its melodic structure and cultural significance. In Wolof language extension, Drame has meticulously crafted a guide that introduces essential vocabulary and grammar, allowing readers to explore the language in a structured and engaging way. Suleiman, on what compelled him to write this guide. The book is, or the reason why this book uh, was actually made in the first place, volume one specifically was um, for the people that I, uh, I teach. And um, also there's this, a uh, question that pops up a lot, like books in Gambian. Um, I've actually come o come across a few online materials which have Gambian, you know, understanding of the wall of language. But uh, the ones with most uh, the most important information are normally Senegalese, and then you understand that there's always a difference in in the in the dialect, and even with the spelling because you have English and then you have French. So the understanding and mispronunciations is just a lot. And yeah, this book was more of, okay, to bridge the gap. And then maybe this is a book for the Gambian market, like targeted for people who are learning the Gambian wall of. Drame's passion for cultural preservation is evident throughout the book, which also provides insight into the notions of pronunciation, crucial for anyone seeking to master the language. 50, 56 um, pages. Please. Yes, but uh, for me, it's it's more of, how best can you make it easy for people, like the people that are being exposed to the language? Because there's also, you know, a lot of online material mm -hmm. that is for the Senegalese audience. And a lot of people who want to learn Gambian Wolof usually come across that. And then it, it is built in their, you know, memory and then having to unlearn that to understand into the Gambian. So uh, what I did is make a table of um, pronunciations in the first pages to actually give relations uh, to pronunciation, like whatever word you come across. If you're doubting anything, I think you can always come to that table and then if it's O, it will help you to understand, okay, this is how O is actually spelled or this is what you are seeing here. This is how you should actually approach it. So I think it's a very, very important um, detail. Uh, Despite his achievement, Drame acknowledged the challenges he faced in writing the guide from researching traditional linguistic practices to ensure the accuracy of each entry. Of learning as I was teaching, learning about people and then learning what works and what they want, what they need. Also, youth also having to understand that sometimes they think they need this, but there's something else. And how best can you also make it for them to understand because people have different levels of understanding. And then even in the group, like you have different people who have different, you know, ways of understanding something yeah. and the challenge was you know to make sure everybody was included as you're going nobody felt left behind or you know to put one over all the others no like to make sure the balance was there in entirely so at some point that was more of the challenge than anything else because for the language you know it was, it's more of speaking even though it's not easy yeah. to learn a language as much but it, it had to do with de dealing with people dealing with people so it came with what? Patience and all. Beyond his role as an author, Drame is also a basketball athlete. Through this book, he hopes to foster a deeper appreciation for the Wolof language, encouraging learners from all walks of life to embrace its beauty and uniqueness. Reporting for Star TV News, I am Baiko.